Hi, it's Nicole Brandon from Ready to Look Younger, and I'm here with my friend Sandra Bizkind. Hi. And we were talking about foods yeah. that help you feel younger, that are anti-aging, foods that make a difference. And as we were going through the list of foods, and you can always go to our website, Spices to Look Younger, or Food to Feel Younger.com, and learn more about foods. But one of the things that really struck me was the energy of foods. And mm. I had gone on a dating site. Oh. And on the dating site, it asked you your favorite foods. And it was really difficult to fill out because for me, it's been the experience. For me, it's having breakfast by a waterfall where there are ducks or something like that, or being at an Italian restaurant where there's a violinist or a string quartet or my mom's chicken soup, and that wasn't anywhere on the list, which I think was my favorite food or anything my mom made me. And that started us having a conversation about the energy of food. And I would love you to share with our friends because you are such an expert in this field of energy. And I would love your take on the energy of food and how that affects our bodies and our lives. Well, the energy full stop affects us completely. But one of the best ways I can uh, give you an example of this is tell you a story about how Daniel and I were in a restaurant. Daniel, in, your husband. Daniel, my husband, were in a restaurant in New Zealand. And this had been a very, very successful restaurant. However, a new chef had taken it over. And honestly, it just started going downhill slowly but surely. We arrived there about three months after he'd taken over and he came out and he said, don't go, don't go. And he, we waited till everybody left and he came and sat with us. He said, I've got a real problem here. I am losing my business. I've got my entire fortune in it. I think I'm doing the right food. I think I'm doing everything right. Like, what's the difference? And it was immediate and obvious to us what was going on and we gave him a big clue which changed everything. We said to him, for the next week, the only thing you're going to change is your, when you're making the food, bless you it. are going to bless oh. the food and love the food. And you're going to train your staff that when they pick the food up to take it to the table, they are going to bless the food and then they're going to bless the people that they put the food down in front of. So the whole food is blessed. Now I have to tell you, my 88 year old Sufi spiritual mentor said to me one day, do you know the best thing about blessing food? It's blessed. <laughs> I mean, oh. yes. And we went there, we, I think I it was like, yes, food. about two weeks later, we went back and the chef came running out and said, you're not paying for a thing tonight, it's on me. He said, the only thing I changed, I did exactly what you said. We just blessed and loved the food, so did the staff, and everybody is not only loving the food, they're coming back and they're telling everybody to come here because everything feels so different to them. And that is the power of energy, frequency, and blessing food. That's amazing. When I know mm. I'm part of an organization called the Pachamama Alliance, yes. an amazing organization mm. whose mission is to create an environmentally sustainable, spiritually fulfilling, and socially just human presence on our planet. Best mission statement ever. Ever. Down that I've ever. ever. Yeah. And once a year, yeah. they have this huge event that's free, and people come from all over the world yeah. to have this lunch to be able to share the possibilities of the planet, and each and every platter is blessed. That's right. And when I look at the thousands of people that are there and thought each individual plate had been blessed and the energy mm -hmm. of that, and I think it's the same way when someone you love cooks for you. Exactly. Or, you know, or when you're not feeling well and somebody even just brings yes. you tea or soup. And so how does love go into food? Energetically. I mean, love, love is not an emotion. Love is the most powerful energetic force on the planet. So with, with your intention is to love that food and to love the person you're giving it to, that food is totally and completely infused with the vibration of love. When we do our live events, we, we talk a lot about energy and frequency and we talk a lot about taking you into a very high state. And in that state, you are 
in what what would be known classically as an enlightenment state, right. where you feel one with everything, where you feel love, food just you know tastes so different, water and even tastes the so smell different, exactly of smell. Food. I remember yeah. as a child there was a famous story about stone soup. Yes, I don't know if you remember no. that, and it was the, the family was so poor. If I remember the story correctly, oh, I do, yeah. and they just put stones in water, and they said they were making stone soup, and everybody was like, "Well, I can add a carrot to that, or I could add an yeah. onion to that, or I can," and as each person contributed whatever they were going to put into stone soup, it became this incredible meal that we right. love, and it was delicious. And so I love the fact that as we talk about foods that are anti-aging, mm -hmm. that we talk about. And we talk about nurturing, we talk about caring, and we talk about intentionality, and we talk about blessing food. And there's so many people around the world that yeah. have that, and that have that blessing. And so I, I also know that in today's society, one of the things that I think has been lost, and maybe it's just from my perspective and the fact that we're in America now, and I, I can't speak for other countries, but certainly I would love to know, is that people would have meals together? Yes, important, isn't it? I, I, I must, you just reminded me, talking about people having meals together, there's a beautiful story about Gandhi, how he was, as you know, he was such a pioneer for peace on the planet. And that was his essence, truly, and he lived his essence. And uh, he was having lunch with a group of people. Even though he was incarcerated, he was having lunch with a group of people. And all of a sudden, he started getting this murderous thoughts and these thoughts of violence and he thought hang on a minute this is not me this is not who I am where is it coming from he was such a high consciousness man that he followed these thoughts back to the fact that he had been eating this food he followed the thoughts back to the kitchen where the man who had been cooking the food was ha was a murderous and having murderous thoughts about other people and they were infused in the food and Gandhi actually got it. So whatever you're thinking about when you infuse your water, the food, whatever that is, remember that you're eating that intentionality and those thoughts. Absolutely and also remember that you have the power to put love into food for someone else. Yes. That you can cook something and it doesn't have to be extravagant, it doesn't have to be extraordinary, it could be the simplest thing that you're sharing with somebody. And just the fact that you've put the intentionality of love into it is going to totally shift absolutely everything in your heart, in your spirit, in your soul, in your mind. So to learn more about Foods to Look Younger, go to foodstolookyounger.com and foodstofeelyounger.com and we look forward to meeting you there.